So he's right up there, George. He's being blocked at the moment. You think by now I would have this uh, rock star? I'm like, <laughs> by now I used to be over it. And I'm just like, really, this guy and William Shatner would be one of the yeah. few that would uh, freak me out. Like, just freak me out. Because you, you use these muscles here, <laughs> and this is what's killing me right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we get yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we get down to the leg and we chill for a few minutes. Got it. Don't climb back up. There's lots of benches for a reason. <laughs> yes. It's a horrible climb back up. I see. <laughs> yeah. And, and so we were climbing back up, and my brothers keep telling my parents, we have to stop. I'm tired. So I tell them, no, if I stop, I'm not getting to the top. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping you could sign it right, yes. right there. Yeah, so I, I stopped for like two minutes and it took about 20 minutes for this rock band to get back up to the top. Oh. And like, it was an arduous climb, but at least I did it. And they actually have like a ledge if you can't get back up. No, I what, tomorrow the, I get away. Doing it on your own is a great feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment. That, that will friend, is what's going to help you do it. You want to go over? Yeah, I'm going to get their picture with Yeah, I got you. You got mine. Oh. So, I can get you from there. Okay. Get in here. Wait a minute. Uh, Very nice. Yeah. Got it. And I learned that you can actually bike around the windmills. Oh, really? And I told my dad that he's an avid biker. Is that actually how he got into oh, shape? Oh, yeah. And then uh, I found it's a 30 mile ride forward. I told him we should do that. He's like, it's at 8,000 feet up. I don't get That's right. It's the altitude that like gets you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and, and if you're not prepared for the altitude, you're. you're she you're gonna, I used to be a marathon, so, so I know about well, I'm altitude. And mm -hmm. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Good to meet you. It's inspiring for all my life. And well, thank you. Everything that you're, you've gone through, it's very inspiring yeah. to yeah. hear. And Miles from Tomorrowland. We can use some more some stuff in that. It's awesome. Yeah, it is pretty cool what you do out here. History's always been a passion of mine, and I'm actually trying to get a master's in Do you live here in this area? Yeah. I'm trying to get a master's in American history. Oh, please do inc include this chapter, mm -hmm. because and it's also, awfully uh, mute in uh, mm -hmm. our history books. And, and I'm like a filmmaker, too. Oh. I thought it'd be so cool to pitch myself um, as doing something on uh, can you get local your history. Uh, do something like either on the Tule Lake refugee no, camp no, or internment camp, okay. or do something yeah. on like the so. Modoc War. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's another. Yeah. Sour yeah, to parts of American history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you learn from your mistakes. Right, exactly. Yeah. And it was a mistake. Okay. So I just wanted to get one quick picture. I just to say, my name is Leonard. I am Native American, Klamath Tribes. I grew up in Tule Lake, and my father, I remember, telling me stories of uh, the internment camps and stuff down there in Newell growing up. And I never really knew a whole lot about the history, so this is the first time I've had a chance to... You know, see what you guys do. Oh, it's this is the first really time. Yeah, I've never been to one of these before. Oh. So it's an honor to meet you. Well, thank you for coming tonight and uh, sharing you. this experience. And, and do a little bit more research on it. There are some very good books on it. But definitely will. I grew up in the area, so it's, it's always been a It's very close to you, yeah. Right. Definitely.